what's up guys, I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Street, and this is my review of Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Alright, alright, so uh, here we are on the desktop and I'm going to go ahead and try and launch Premiere, although, um, yeah, it is past its expiration date. Here should be our blank project and um, continue trial. We'll just go ahead and open up uh... Um, so, you know, you drag it down to the uh, media browser. So yeah, once again, this is your preview section. This is your media browser. This is your um, timeline and up here is um, different things effects audio mixer now I really enjoy the um, audio features of this like I can level out my audio I can see when it's getting too high with this thing over here so yeah um, I also enjoy this was great for when I was I edited my Minecraft video with this I believe um, my first one and I can put a video in here and then I can put another video and more audio here Oh yeah, um, if you want your sequence to automatically match, uh, basically if you want your pro produced video to be the same kind of video as you recorded, then it's really easy to do that with uh, this program. You just change sequence settings right there, bam. But yeah, um, you can have more than one audio thing and um, audio and video track at the same time. I really enjoy that. Um, now look at this. I just thought that it was really cool that, yeah, modern game... Alright, so this video is pretty in sync. The street and I'll see. But um, if it wasn't in sync, it would be really easy to fix. You just right-click, you click unlink, and then I can move them. And this is a bit of a stretch, but... A modern game, like the newest update, running... And yeah, I know that this isn't in sync because the video was already in sync, but sometimes this is a serious problem, and I have actually used this feature. So then once you've done that, all you have to do is select both of them by holding down shift and clicking both of them and clicking link. And now, anywhere you move them, cut them, anything, um, they will stay synced however you set them, which, yeah, once again, that was a lifesaver. I didn't even know that... I mean, like, yeah, I don't think that the old video editor I used on Linux, OpenShot, at least it wasn't as easy to figure out how to do that as it was on here. Um, as I said, it's uh, very quick, this um, editor. As you can see, I can click to um, cut videos, and there's no lag at all like I've seen with some other video editors. Um, very easy to adjust. This is adjusting video lighting, which is a bit odd. Um, I found it a bit more difficult to adjust audio because usually this little line here adjusts audio but um it's actually Maybe these mixers the here car, just for it to be like a minecraft computer that would be some so yeah um all of these controls are extremely easy and uh all right so yeah everything is very easy i'm trying to think of anything else i might want to tell you um would I recommend this over Sony Vegas? Yes, because of ease of use. Vegas, there were a lot of options. I had no idea what any of them did, how to use any of them. Um, this was just, you know, very easy. You got your tool tips. Um, it's very clear that, like, this is audio. This is your uh, media browser. It's very clear. Uh, this multi-sequence thing was a, a new concept for me, and I, I can definitely see how that would be um, helpful. Maybe if you're producing like a, a full feature film, then you know, different acts uh, you might want to have different sequences so that you weren't going around screwing with every single clip in your project whenever you wanted to change something. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely very nice. Um, rendering. Alright, so I just threw this video together. What do I do to render it? File. Um, export media and yeah you can scale to fit stretch to fill um, whatever aspect ratio you want and all of these different um, different 
options. I didn't have any rendering problems with this whatsoever, which, once again, is pretty much a first. Uh, you can also choose to match sequence settings. So, yeah, once again, you would check that if you wanted your end video to be the same kind of video as the one that you, um, the one that you recorded. So, yeah, uh, would I recommend this over Vegas? Yes, because of ease of use. Now, here's a bigger one. Would I recommend this over OpenShot? OpenShot is an open source Linux video editor, and I'm a big, um, I, supporter of open source software. Um, I know I'm running Windows 8 right now because it's kind of the latest greatest, so I wanted to get my hands on it, but I am always supportive of open source software, and OpenShot was one of the best editors, one of the best editors, like, even comparing with this. So, um, oh yeah, effects, you can have, um, oh yeah, 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 it was really easy, wait, was it? Yeah, it's really easy to add um, titles in here. You can actually see where the title's going in the frame. Um, title here. And, you know, you got all these preset fonts. You can um, change all these settings. So, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, those get put in as pictures. So you can move them wherever you want. Um, so, yeah, that's titles. I, I'm going kind of out of order here. This is going to be a nightmare to edit. But, yeah, would I recommend this over OpenShot? Well, here's the deal. OpenShot is open source, and it also uses two very powerful tools. It uses Inkscape for 2D um, titles, although I have to admit I prefer this title manager better than OpenShot's um, for 2D titles. 3D titles, however, OpenShot uses... OpenShot uses Blender for 3D... Uh, effects, and you see, you know, the credits at the beginning of this video that said Nerd on the Street, Jacob Kaufman, the uh, credits at the end of this video that you'll see that most people don't even watch, but yeah, that stuff was was made with OpenShot, and that is powered by Blender. So yeah, in terms of features, does this beat OpenShot? Uh, no. In terms of features, and in terms of usability, actually, this is still a whole lot more cluttered than OpenShot um, is. So, in terms of features, OpenShot is, you know, right up here with uh, Premiere Pro. And this is, um, I yeah, this is Creative Suite 6. This is not um, Elements. But, yeah, OpenShot is right up here. Now, the one big difference I noticed was speed. In OpenShot, if I use this little razor thing and I click, it's going to take like a second and then it'll go. As you can see, I just, you know, click and it's there. Um, so in terms of speed, yeah, this might be OpenShot. Um, whether or not that speed is worth giving up those features is for you to decide. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to... Uh, tell you about this editor. Once again, very good editor. I liked it way better than uh, Sony Vegas, and I yeah, I, just, I really enjoyed using it. If you're in the market for a um, Windows video editor, then once again, I always OpenShot is the best video editor in my mind. Um, it's on Linux, it's free, it's got 3D effects and stuff, um, but if you're in the market for a paid Windows video editor right now, this is what I would recommend. Comment, let me know what other video editors you would like me to try out, and um, I'm there on the street. I will see you later. See ya.